Okay, now before moving on to the floor boss we have waiting for us, I'm going to fuse away my angel and my Arimatama to form Jack Frost. Jack Frost being the Magician Arcana, he gains four levels of experience. Really good for right now, which because yeah. Because that will put Jack Frost at a pretty decent strength level. Which is my main reason for f fusing him, as well as the fact that he's going to be useful for our next battle. Now, before leaving, I'm actually going to rebuy my Arima Matama, just because. Actually, no. I'll wait till we're leaving. But yes, just, I would like to have Jack Frost for this part coming up. Would be really useful, so real quick I'm going to save and I'll see you guys back up there. Dilly Dally, let's go into battle. Alright, and these are the crying tables. The I'm afraid. Alright, gonna scan them as usual, but won't do anything. Crying tables, level 14 enemy, weak to ice, they drain fire, and they're strong against all physical and no strike. So basically, physical attacks are not very useful. So, you guys saw me fuse Jack Frost, and this is the reason why. Jack Frost at this point in the game is the best Buku persona you can learn. You can, excuse me, you can fuse. And Jack Frost does quite a bit of work, except when he misses. So long as Agi isn't. They just stood up one of the dudes I knocked. Forget about using fire. The enemy's already recovered. And oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna go to tactics. You car is you move to heal support. Actually. June Pace also didn't move to heal support. So as you see, even though I'm hitting them with Buku, it's not doing that much damage. They have 260 HP and I've hit these two for about 30 each. You struck the enemy's weak point. Hopefully he'll hit this one this time. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. Here's our chance for an all out of if you say Silly so. as it seems, I'm relenting here. Because what I'm now going to do is cast Rakunda on one of the tables. Now, what I did was by putting Junpei and Yukari on both heal support, they're going to spend their turns healing and buffing our team. This is not good. The tables now have to burn their this turns to get good. up. This is not good. And we get to hear the wonderful Mitsuru quote of how not good this is. So now since the tables are wasting their turns to get up, I'm able to burn my turns, knocking them back down. This honestly, it's a very good strategy for fights like this, because I'm using Jack Frost, which although he's a good persona, he's weak to fire, and fire is their, is their type of damage they're fighting with. They're actually casting Aguilau on our team, which is the level 2 fire spell. So. It's very good. It's very good to just kind of take your time and stuff like this. No need to spend every, 
no need to all attack every time you can. It's frequently better to just not all attack. Okay, jump tape. The enemy has recovered. Increasing people's damage. Is Why is my phone vibrating? And it's a number I do not recognize. So I'm going to ignore it. Okay. Gonna hit that first crime table again. You struck the enemy's See, by doing this, we're actually really weakening up these you tables. The awesome. Good. Only problem is Yukari doesn't have too many you buff things. She's more of a pure healer. If you say so. And now. Is... Let's see if this works. Damn. Okay, that can backfire. Yukari. You... Okay, she hit the one that stood up. Good, good, good. I tried something a little risky. Mm. Iori is in danger. Great recovery. Mm. Hang in there. No Junpei. Junpei. Thank you, Junpei. Oh my goodness. I might have just killed myself. Yukari's dead. I just killed myself. We, we just lost. Oh my god, we just lost because I just killed myself. Unless these things are completely retarded, which they're clearly not. Yep, I'm dead. And? Yep, I killed myself. I was perfectly fine. I went. I tried to do something that was completely unnecessary, and I paid for it. A guardian. Okay, we're gonna try this again. All right, fine. All right. All right. I played that out very stupidly, and I paid for it. Attack again. Nice. So, as unfortunate as this is, I'm going to now execute my strategy correctly. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. And not be stupid. Really. Really sorry. Oh my god. Best AI ever. As I immediately get Agilau. Jimpe gets hit with mighty swing. That one gets up. And this one Moragi is killing. Be careful. Oh You're severely goodness. injured. Okay, Jimpe and Yor Jimpe and Yukari are both on heal support, so that actually should, I should be fine because of that. So long as nothing goes wrong, I should be fine. Because what will happen now is, I'll knock them all down, they're gonna use the turns healing and buffing us. No. Prepare to be attacked. Oh no. It casted on Yukari and it missed. Oh my god, yes. Thank you, game, for having terrible AI. Yes. The enemy is vulnerable. Attack. So this game is very unforgiving in terms of the fact that bosses are not nice and bosses will really shit out of you. Attack again. Here's a chance. Let's get Simply put, you do not make mistakes in this game. Okay. 
go back, just back with the strategy I was using before that was working. Before I, I got greedy and killed myself. She's gonna heal herself probably. And Junpei's gonna probably cast Rocket Kaja. Yep. I really wish Junpei had Tara Kaja, honestly. Because Tara Kaja increases our offense. So Junpei cast that on me once and this fight would probably go by a decent bit faster. And go for the buffer. A wisely chosen attack. Buffer number two. Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. And buffer number three. Why do I always miss that table? That that's actually starting to bother me. Why do I always miss that table? Not smart enough to attack me though, so thank goodness for that. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. The bad part is Boohoo actually has a really high hit rate. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. Because the single target spells have a near flawless hit percentage. You attacked the enemy's weak point. Here's our chance for an all out of if you say so. Oh. Alright, so let's use Rakunda on this guy. Next time I'm probably gonna act them all up after I um land on my boots because I'm probably gonna use like a snuff soul a snuff soul or something like that. Just to make sure I, I maintain my SP levels throughout this fight. Prepare to be attacked! Low. And this, that one's dead actually. Remember, these only have 260 HP, so. Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. Attack. So, with only 260 HP, they're really not that strong. You but the Here's our for I'm not Can taking any chances. So? I know this is kind of like a BS way to take on this. Oh, wow, I have no snuff soul. I have chewing soul. Uh, chewing soul gives a lot of SP back. We'll see what happens. Hang in there. All right, just need to relax. Prepare to be attacked. This is not good. No, no, no. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, did I really just do that? I am my own worst enemy in this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Great recovery. They're not gonna heal me. Oh my god, the AI is fucking retarded. Holy shit. Is this the only thing I can do? Please, game, love me. A wisely chosen attack. Awesome. Okay, 
game. Love me, please. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. Here's our chance. No. If you say so. One Aguila and no, fuck you, Junpei. One Aguila and I'm done. Hang in there. This gives me enough HP to survive an Aguila if something bad happens, but that shouldn't be an issue. Just holy crap. The enemy's already recovered. Prepare to be attacked. Do for this one. Because hopefully this will actually kill him. Yes! He's down. Last boof I'm able to do for the time being. Attack again! Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you son. Okay. I'm willing to all out attack right now. There's only one table. Wow, that is not worth the all out attack at all. So that is definitely not worth the all out attack. And you really need the SP right now. Well, I probably should have switched off Jack Frost for the turn. I can do it. That honestly wouldn't have been too bad of an idea. Use poison oh my goodness. I've never been so happy to be poisoned in a video game. I've never been so happy to be poisoned in a video game. A wisely chosen oh. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Screw that, because our all attacks are weak as shit. Um Is it dispoison? Hang in there. I know this is a very slow way to tackle this fight. But a lot of these fights, it's better you take it the slow the way than try to rush the enemy down and die. And this is the killing blow. You attack the enemy's weak spot. Here's our chance for an all. Nope, we're left. And boofing him for death. Okay, thank you. The there we go, vibrant cloth. Cool. Oh my goodness. Here real quick. Got another bead chain. Bead chains are really nice and I really like those items. There I'm only thing is I prefer getting somas because I won't use somas. But that's besides the point. We're going to go back to the first floor. Just holy crap. That was frightening. I just wanna save real quick. And then we're gonna go straight back up. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, I hate. I hate the tables. Like, the thing that makes that fight so difficult is any persona at this point that you learn that has, that has Bufu is going to be weak to Agi, which is pretty bad. I don't know how much longer we're going to be in Tartarus. We're probably, well, I'm honestly going to probably stay in here until my party gets tired. So this could literally be like a full two, two to three episodes of Tartarus exploration. Which isn't bad. But what this will probably do is make me not need to go back to Tartarus for a while. Alright, just keep on moving. Oh, look, it's so cute and tiny. We should kill it. Oh my god. The bistro the bestial wheel. Um Jack Frost. Do some work for me. Okay, Jack Frost is not doing work for me. Okay. That one just won't die. Help me! So it's probably with the Zeo if this doesn't knock it down. Here's our chance for an all out attack! Go all out. Things weak to Garu. 
Oh. It seems to have multiple weaknesses. It just power charged. <laughs> um. Yeah, power charge is very dangerous. Basically, with power charge is used, the next the following physical attack will deal double damage. There's a similar attack with the spells called mind charge. In other words, those two attacks can decimate a team. And I've seen attacks do like several thousand points of damage after being power or mind charged. As you see, that attack almost just one shot Junpei from full health. You struck the enemy's weak point. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you son of a okay. uh, I'm in bad shape. No. Oh man, you serious? I'm sorry, but whenever that comes up, I will never let my teammates run. Number one, Yukari can heal you. Even that's a lot of damage, though. Like, it's frustrating. So yeah, beast your wheel. Not our, ni not a nice guy. And shoot for time. We're good. We got two thousand yen for that, and a nice chunk of XP. Okay, Yukari needs to heal us now. No, I don't want to check your equipment. Okay, I guess I'll check your equipment anyway. That's nice. Heal. Jesus. I didn't even need the healing. I just wanted her to heal herself in the pay. But, okay, so we're d that's not bad, though. Just that enemy hit a lot harder than I expected. Okay, that's a thing. This is a red shadow. Red shadows are extremely powerful and could potentially kill me. Shit! No! No! He hit me first, fuck! I'm about to get raped by Hulk Hogan. This is bad. Yep. Oh god, I just lost. Oh my god. Holy shit! I just I just botched that for hardest shit. Um, fuck! What are these things we do? Oh my god, this is bad. Um. Okay, so explaining. First off, the first Hulk Hogan used an ability called Revolution. What Revolution does is increase the crit rate of everyone, including enemies. So in this case, it increased the crit rate of my party as well as the Hulk Hogan's. The Hulk Hogan proceeded to punch Junpei in the face, critting him and killing him, and attempted to do the same to me. I got lucky and he missed. Now, this Hulk, these Hulk Hogan's are weak to either Zeo or Garo. I cannot remember which. I'm going to hope that it's Zeo. Oh my god, yes. Memory has not failed me. At least not yet. Fuck that. Okay. So, yeah, fighting these Hulk Hogan is not fun. And it's very, very dangerous. Basically, if you're going to fight a Red Shadow, you always want to have the um, player advantage from going into a fight. Just. It seems to have multiple weaknesses. Okay. I very much botched my attempt to kill them. It's weak to pure, it's weak to light. It seems to have multiple weaknesses. Alright, revolution's still in effect for like another turn. So what I'll do is I'll zeal them this turn. I have a plan. But I'm gonna wait a turn before I put it in action. For the time being, 
I'm going to... I'll cast Dia on Junko. I think I should Junpei to heal support. Although I may be incorrect. So Junpei could very well run up and attack these guys like a dumbass. Oh, they moved before Junpei. That's actually really good. That means I don't have to put Junpei on heal support. Prepare to be attacked. Okay, so their, their crit rates should now be reverted. Couldn't finish it off. So what I'm actually gonna do since let's take a look at this one more time. They're weak to light. It seems to have multiple weak Yes. So the skill Hama is the light spell in this game, but as you, but none of my personas have it. However, I got Purifying Rice, which casts Hamon. So Hamon is the stronger version of Hama, which is the light spell, so since they're weak to it, it's almost a guaranteed hit. Good work. And Junpei's done. After getting knocked the fuck out, I understand why. <laughs> okay, that could have went a lot worse. I was actually really scared. Alright, nice chunk of money and a level up. Good, good, good. Because you do get a lot of experience from fighting the um, Red Shadows. But, oh my god, I was so frightened. So, I'm going to bounce from this floor as quickly as possible. Just holy crap. I tried to get a player advantage on a red shadow and I botched that hella hard. Okay. And let's return to the entrance. Just holy crap. And Jinpei's tired. You're beat, go back to the dorm. So yeah, that... That was quite terrifying, if I do say so myself. So what I'm actually going to do... Is... Let me double check something. Do, do, do. I need Orpheus. And I believe I already have. Yeah, I have Omenakane on me already. I have no idea if I said that correctly. Omoikane. Oh, wow. Actually, I confused you with Nakamata. That is actually pretty useful. Oh, my goodness. This thing's awesome. So, we actually need a Hermit Persona coming up soon for the next rank of the Hermit. When we hang out with um the online the um, girl my on the online game, so I'm gonna fuse these two away in order to give us a hermit persona. I no longer need Nekomata because I have Jack Frost. So that's a non-issue for the time being. So we're gonna get some level ups from that. Okay, only one. Okay, that's fine. N next, what I want to do is... I want to go to Compendium, because I'm actually going to need this very badly. So I'm going to buy that using like the very last bit of money I have. And we don't need to worry about any of our other personas for the time being. So... For that, we're going to leave. And all in all, I think we are good for the time being. So, next episode, I'll leave Tartars and we'll continue back to our everyday school life. So, see you guys then.